Mafia. It's a classic social deduction game played at campouts, parties, college dormitories, and other various group gatherings. Players split into two teams, the Mafia, who eliminate others during the night, and the Town, who debate allegiances by day. The catch, of course, is that the Town side of players only know their roles, while the Mafia side of players know who else is on their side. As a result, games often spiral into a chaotic mess of accusations, manipulation, and deception. But is there an optimal strategy behind this? Beneath the layers of lying and subterfuge, is there a method a player can take to maximize their chances of winning? For those unfamiliar with the game of Mafia, I'll quickly go over the baseline rules. Before the game starts, an omnipotent narrator assigns roles to the players randomly. The Mafia win if their number is equal to the Towns, and the Town wins by eliminating all the Mafia during the day. Gameplay alternates between two phases. During the day, players can discuss suspicions and can vote someone out. At night, everyone closes their eyes while the Mafia selects a victim. Special roles like the Doctor and the Sheriff can add balance. The Doctor can save one person in a night, and the sheriff can investigate someone's allegiance. The general rule of thumb is to have two to three mafia per townsperson. For this video, we'll be examining what's called seven player classic mafia. This follows certain online tutorials for game setup, and limiting our player count reduces possible outcomes we have to consider. Also, having a lot of friends can be really difficult. We'll set our role distribution to be two mafia, three townspeople, one doctor, and one sheriff. For the purposes of this video, we'll assume that Alice and Bob are assigned mafia, Eve is assigned the doctor, and Frank is assigned the sheriff. The remaining players will be left as default townspeople with no responsibilities during the night phase. To explore the question of an optimal strategy, we also have to set additional standards beyond just the baseline rules. These are by no means correct to play mafia, but will certainly help as a benchmark for discussing the logic behind plays later. First, the narrator should give as little information as possible. This is critically important for for a few reasons. Case 1 regards town-sided power rolls. After the night phase, the moderator should reveal no information about the action of the power rolls. All that is shared to the town at the start of the day is if someone was eliminated or not. This preserves the ability for the mafia to claim themselves as town-sided power rolls. If the mafia and the doctor pick the same person in the night, it also forces the doctor to out themselves as a price of the town knowing who was confirmed innocent. Case 2. When someone is eliminated, the role is not revealed. This way, default townspeople must critically think on whether town-sided power rolls are still in play or whether they have been eliminated already. We can still assume the moderator is guaranteed to tell the truth on when the game is over though. Case 3 is during the night phase. If a power roll is eliminated, the moderator will still speak as if they are alive. For example, they would still ask, Doctor, who would you like to save, even if the doctor was eliminated? For benchmark number 2, the mafia are not allowed to eliminate each other in the night. Realistically, this isn't very optimal anyway, and allowing it will probably just mean the urge to grief your teammate will be very high. Third, we'll implement the greedy doctor clause. This means the doctor is not allowed to save the same person two nights in a row. This doesn't mean that they cannot save themselves, it just encourages them to not constantly save the same person forever. Fourth, we'll assume there's no metagaming. This means people won't make accusations like, I heard so and so player moving during the night so they must be some power role. It ruins the purpose of the night phase being anonymous and honestly just isn't that fun. Lastly, we'll assume every player is being perfectly logical. A huge assumption I know, but let's try to take a look at what the players can control. Social deduction tactics will be discussed later. With all that finally out of the way, we can finally examine Night Zero. The main thing we have to contend with is who are the Mafia able to eliminate at the end of Night Zero, aka who does the Doctor save? The answer? There's actually no reason why the Doctor shouldn't just save themselves. The odds of the Mafia and the Doctor picking the same person is just 5 in 35. Realistically, it is way better for Eve to guarantee she is not eliminated for Night 1 so that Frank gets a guaranteed extra check if he is still in the game. But remember, any logical player, including the Mafia, will anticipate this move. So basing off this, there are three distinct scenarios to occur as shown on the table. Table. The columns represent who the Mafia choose to eliminate. Obviously, they don't choose themselves, so we only have five options. Of these, Case 1 occurs with probability 3 fifths where a townsperson is eliminated. Case 2 occurs with probability 1 fifth where the Mafia tried to eliminate Eve, but she saves herself. Case 3 occurs with probability 1 fifth where the Mafia tried to eliminate Frank, the sheriff. Let's examine Case 1 in more detail. By symmetry, let's assume that Charlie is eliminated. It doesn't matter which town person is targeted, so we'll use Charlie as our example. Sorry, Charlie. Eve continues saving herself, leaving Frank's investigation results to define four sub scenarios. Areas. 1. Frank investigates a Mafia with probability 2-6 highlighted in red. 2. Frank investigates Charlie, probability 1-6 highlighted in orange. 3. Frank investigates another townsperson, Dave or Grace, with probability 2-6 highlighted in white. 4. Frank investigates Eve with probability 1-6. Let's handle the first scenario where Frank is lucky enough to check a Mafia. In this case, Frank should immediately reveal his role, securing a guaranteed Mafia elimination. But here's the twist. The best move for the town is for Eve to reveal her role as well. Why? By outing herself, Eve simplifies Frank's checks. The sheriff's job is to confirm guilt or innocence. 
citizens. If Frank is eliminated, the town is left with psychological guesswork. Eve's role then is to protect Frank and minimize uncertainty. So by symmetry, let's say that Frank gets the town to vote out Alice. What now? Doesn't Eve just get eliminated? Exactly. Bob, knowing Eve saved herself on night zero, would eliminate her on night one. There's no sense in targeting Frank as Eve will always save him. The mafia get more value by removing the doctor than some random townsperson. After the night phase, this is what the population of the game looks like, and here's where the value of Eve's sacrifice lies. Now, here's what Frank could have done during the night. Frank checks the mafia, probability one third. With Eve's revelation, Frank won't waste his check on her. If he finds the mafia, the town win outright. Frank checks the townsperson, probability two thirds. In this case, Frank is eliminated on night two. On day three, the remaining players are the checked townsperson, Bob, the mafia, and the other unchecked townsperson. For example, if Frank checked Grace on night one, she's confirmed town in the final three. The town win 50% of the time if Grace correctly identifies Bob. This is known as a known final three scenario. One confirmed town, one mafia, and one unchecked town. Keep this term in mind, it'll come up later. Do you see it now? If Eve were alive, there would be a probability one-fourth rather than a one-third probability for a town guaranteed win. The 50% chance on the second scenario wouldn't actually change since there's no way for the town to get more information before the final three. If Eve doesn't reveal, she's left in a group of two other townspeople and one mafia, leaving a 33% chance of her being eliminated before the final three. So overall in this scenario, we can calculate the total probability of a town win here. Using the law of total probability, we have the following. A 66% chance of winning is certainly better than random chance. Now we can update the table with our new probabilities. Now let's handle the other more probable scenario. If Frank is able to check a town, again, by symmetry, let's say he checks Grace. Now the optimal play should be pretty obvious. Eve should still reveal her role. This ensures that three town-sided players are effectively confirmed. Although Eve will still be eliminated, her reveal makes Frank's check far more impactful. Here's how it plays out. On day one, Frank reveals he checked Grace. Eve announces that she's the doctor and plans to save Frank, something the mafia already anticipates anyway. The town should skip voting, avoiding the risk of ending the game early with an incorrect vote. Night one then begins. Eve is eliminated. Now it all depends on Frank's check, which will explore the possible outcomes during the day. With one third probability, Frank would have checked Dave. This is actually super beneficial since by the process of elimination, the town can deduce that the two remaining unchecked players must be mafia. They always have a majority in voting during the day, so the town in theory should always win. Frank checks a mafia member, two thirds probability. The mafia is voted out on day two. Frank is then eliminated during night two, leaving Grace in a known final three scenario, which is still a 50% win. We can now see that these scenarios have a two thirds probability of winning for the town. It's functionally the same scenario as before, so we can apply the logic from before as well. You'll soon see that a lot of these cases are super similar. We can now update the table again. So far, things are looking pretty good. Now let's see what happens if Frank chose to investigate Eve on night zero. This case is different for two main reasons. One, from Frank's perspective, he doesn't know that Eve's the doctor, so he would still reveal his role, maximizing the town's win chances under the assumption that Eve could be a regular townsperson. Two, if Eve doesn't reveal herself, it's effectively the same as revealing her role. Why? Because the doctor can't be eliminated in night zero, and in every other case, the doctor would reveal themselves. So any deviation signals to logical players that something's off. So in this case, Frank and Eve both end up outed, but with minimal benefit to the town. Eve will be eliminated on night one, but at least Frank gets another investigation before he's eliminated. The town should skip voting on day one as no save as possible. As a refresher, when we're examining these subcases, we're back to day one. Night one is basically deterministic of Eve being eliminated and Frank giving a free check on someone else. So we can skip to day two and see what the outcomes are. Here, Frank finds a mafia with two out of four probability. Here, Frank's role trades one for one with the mafia. However, the final three players are in a blind final three, meaning no clear townsperson remains. Keep this term in mind too. There's a 33% chance that the town picks the leftover mafia and wins. Frank also has a two in four chance of finding a town, in which case the town are forced to vote someone out. Now let's explore these cases. Suppose for symmetry's sake that Frank investigated Grace. There's a one in three chance that town vote out Dave and just instantly lose. There's a two in three chance that the town vote out a mafia. This means the game continues and Frank will be eliminated during night two, which means day three is a known final three, a 50% win rate. Using the law of total probability, we can get the following formula on the screen. The result, a one third probability of town winning the game. Not bad considering the setbacks. Eve was eliminated on night one, Frank's first check on her was wasted, and Charlie was eliminated during night zero. Rest in peace, Charlie. We can now update the table. Now, let's look at the last case of when Frank investigated Charlie during night zero. Here, Frank has no relevant information to the town. At this point, it's like we've restarted the game with two mafia, one sheriff, one doctor, and two townspeople. It's tempting to skip since Frank has no information, but it's actually beneficial to reveal the doctor and the sheriff. Why? Two reasons. One, without sharing roles, Frank is left in the dark, making his checks less impactful. Two, 
Eve revealing herself draws the Mafia's attention, ensuring Frank survives longer. So should the town vote during day one then? No! There's a 50% chance of voting out a townsperson and the game to just end. Now, night one should be purely deterministic. The Mafia would target Eve since they would know she cannot save herself again due to the greedy doctor clause. Eve would try to save Frank to prevent any social deduction or mind games. Frank would get a free check. Wait a minute, this scenario is identical to the first one where Frank investigated Eve. Without any useful information from Frank's first check, the game proceeds as if no check occurred at all. We've already calculated the outcome, a one-third probability of a town win, so we can update the probability of the orange square of the table as well. So overall, how does this look for the town? Well, we can use the law of total probability again. A brief explanation on what this law of total probability I keep referencing is. We can determine the probability of a town winning by summing over all possible events where we multiply the probability that the town win given that certain event occurs with the probability of the event occurring. For instance, the first term in the equation might represent the fact that we have a two-thirds chance of winning if Frank checked Alice the first night, and Frank checking Alice that first night has a probability of 1 in 6 in occurring. Overall, we get a value of 5 over 9, or 56%. This is better than just randomly guessing despite a losing town night 0. Let's go back to the big picture. We've updated the table here to see what the probability of winning is given that during night zero, a town non-power roll is eliminated. Now we can consider the scenario where no town is eliminated. At first glance, this scenario might seem quite complex, but it simplifies quickly. By now, it's clear that everyone in the game would realize that Eve saved herself since this is the optimal play. Therefore, Eve should reveal herself immediately since the Mafia already knows that she's the doctor. Eve's elimination on night 1 is inevitable. The Mafia knows she'll save Frank if it becomes optimal for him to reveal herself, so they'll target here. The question then becomes, who did Frank investigate night 0? Here, there are three cases to investigate. Frank investigated a Mafia with probability 1 third. Frank investigates a town person, probability 1 half. By symmetry, let's assume he investigated Grace. Frank investigates Eve, probability 1 six. Once again, we'll jump into these sub-scenarios. Scenario 1 is when Frank investigated a Mafia night 0. Then he obviously outs himself, leading to Alice's elimination by symmetry. Eve is eliminated during night 1, leaving Frank protected and able to investigate on night 1. For the two cases, either Frank found Bob during night 1 and the town win, occurring 25% of the time, or Frank found a town's player, say Grace, during night 1. In this case, the town should always vote on 5. If they don't, this will just cause a blind final 3 since Frank will be eliminated and the town cannot vote on 4 without a doctor, so Grace's innocence won't matter and she'll be eliminated. If the town vote right with probability 1 third, they'll just win. If the town votes wrong, Frank will be eliminated, but Grace will be guaranteed to be around for a known final 3, a 50% win rate. Thus, using the law of total probability, the overall chance chance of a town win here is 78%. We can now update the table. Now let's see when Frank investigated Eve Night Zero. In this case, Frank effectively wastes his first check. He should be rational enough to realize that, since no one was eliminated, he must have checked the doctor, who saved themselves. The town should skip voting on day one since there's no actionable information, and Frank should not reveal his role. Eve will then be eliminated during night one, giving Frank a free check. On day two, we consider who Frank investigated on night one. There are two main scenarios. Frank finds a mafia with 40% chance. He outs and then will be eliminated in that subsequent night, and it goes to a blind final vote of Three. Frank finds a town during night 1 with 60% chance. You probably already know the drill by now, but let's say he investigated Grace by symmetry. Then Frank should wait another night. If he outs now, he can't get another check and the town basically just lose. This will get a little bit messy, so to clarify, events happening in black are day 2 events, events happening in purple are night 2 events, and events happening in pink are day 3 events. If Frank is eliminated, which happens 25% of the time, the town have to make a 2 and 5 shot of identifying the mafia or the game is over. However, if they succeed, they have a blind final 3. If Frank isn't eliminated, he now has two checks in store. Suppose he has Grace and Charlie. 25% of the time, Dave is eliminated and the town actually have a majority with all possible information, which is a 100% win. The last 50% of the time, Frank only has one useful check. This means the town has to vote someone out. If this is successful, it's a known final three where Frank is eliminated that night, probability two thirds. If they aren't, the number of Moffat equals the number of town, probability one third, so the town lose. That was certainly a lot of information, so please feel free to pause the video and read more thoroughly. Ready? Let's look at the expected probability of winning. There's a lot of branches and this goes pretty long, but if we put everything into our formula, we get an answer of 121 over 300, which is about 40%. It might be surprising to see this statistic. One might think, isn't it good if no one is eliminated the first night? Why is the probability below 50%? The answer is because of the utility of the doctor. Everyone playing rationally means that everyone knows the doctor has to be eliminated immediately, reducing the town's odds of winning. Now let's try the case where Frank investigated a random town night zero, say Grace, by symmetry, but Eve saved herself on night zero. Should Frank say anything? No. Eve is already guaranteed to be eliminated so there's no point telling. Frank is guaranteed to get a check night one since Eve will be eliminated. Grace is marked with a blue ring to indicate that she's already been checked. This population setup carries us into day two. This is basically the same scenario as last time but with different probability weights. 
There's a 50% chance Frank trades with the Mafia, however, this time the town can't vote on 4 so Grace will be eliminated and it's a blind final 3. The other case is slightly different. Because this time Grace is a prior check from Night Zero, if Frank investigates Charlie Night 1 by symmetry, shouldn't he out himself now? Not really, actually. The town's population is 6 so they shouldn't vote during the day. Hiding increases the odds of getting another check. Frank being eliminated is still 1 in 4 which would be unlucky, but we've already done the math on that. That's a blind final 3. If he isn't, we have a few sub scenarios to consider here. If Dave is eliminated, that proves to Frank that Alice and Bob are Mafia since he already knows that Grace and Charlie are town. If Grace or Charlie is eliminated, we can look at the following. There's a 2 in 3 chance Frank founds a Mafia, in which case there's a trade. Then Grace is around for a known final 3. There's a 1 in 3 chance that Frank investigated Dave, which means the town still wins by process of elimination. Overall, with LOTP, this is a 19 out of 40, or 47.5% chance of a town win. This is also relatively expected, since it is improvement on the case where Frank wasted his check on Eve. We can now update the table. Going back to the big table, we can calculate our overall probability of winning given no one was eliminated. Here, we're around 56.4%, which is slightly higher than the first case where there is an elimination. This is roughly what we should have expected too. We have a slightly higher probability since more people are alive, but having someone eliminated actually provides a lot of information and narrows the range for the sheriff to guess. The last scenario is to consider what happens if the sheriff is eliminated. This means the town no longer has any certainty in how to proceed. In addition, since no sheriff would be alive to claim any information like we saw in case 1, a perfectly rational town would all know that the sheriff is eliminated. They would also know to skip a vote of 6 from previous logic. Thus, we start our analysis from night 1. Without lots of generality, suppose Eve chooses to save Charlie since she can't choose to save herself. Here, there are three outcomes. First, Eve could be eliminated by the Greedy Doctor Clause. This occurs with probability 1 and 4, and we've seen in this example this would result in 2 Mafia and 3 Town with no information. From previous examples, this is a blind vote of 5 and 3, where the blind vote of 5 has probability of 2 and 5, so overall this is a 2 and 15 probability of Town win. Second, Grace or Dave could be eliminated as Eve saves Charlie. Eve is then forced to out herself to minimize the odds of voting a town. This results in a 50% chance of losing outright and a 50% chance of continuing. If we continue, Eve can save herself for the final three, which the Mafia would know since they would know there's no sheriff, meaning they could eliminate a townsperson. This is a known vote of three, so we do one half times one half with this one fourth chance of winning. Lastly, Charlie could be saved, which occurs with probability 25%. The Mafia would realize here that Charlie couldn't be saved again and is also not the doctor. Here, there are six people, so Eve can still stay hidden. The optimal move for the Mafia is to target Charlie again, as in night two, it's a guaranteed elimination. During this night, Eve should pick someone who isn't herself in Charlie and then out herself on day 3, which means there's a 50% probability that the town wins the vote of 5. Since she intentionally wasted her save the previous night, it's the same as the prior scenario, or just 1 in 4. Plugging everything into LOTP, we get a conclusive win rate of 22% if the sheriff is eliminated. This makes sense. Without Frank, there's quite literally zero certainty on who the Mafia are, so it involves a lot of guessing. We can go back to our table at night 0. Plugging all of these values into the last LOTP of the video, we get the probability of the town winning this archetype of Mafia if everyone plays perfectly logically is 49%. It goes to show that the game is extremely balanced. It's also kind of why I picked these rules in this setup. So what's the conclusion? Well, if you're the doctor, always save yourself on night zero and then try to keep the sheriff alive by outing yourself on day one after the sheriff does. If you're town, don't vote on six people or four people, but always vote on three. Vote on five if you're confident there's still two Mafia left. If you're the sheriff, your game plan is a little more difficult. Assuming you're still in the game after night zero, check the number of players. If there was a night zero elimination, you should out yourself immediately. If not, examine your confirmation from that check. If it was a mafia, out yourself right away. Otherwise, bide your time until you get to five people or you find a mafia, whichever one comes first. With all this logic, it begs the question, is the game of mafia ruined? Not at all. Remember, this video assumes perfect logic conditioning on everyone playing on this level. For example, Mafia could just claim Sheriff when there's 5 people left. Maybe a townsperson who hasn't watched this video won't catch it if a Mafia tries to claim Doctor after no one is eliminated night 0 and then is not eliminated day 2. During votes of 5 and 3, the game is still going to be decided by social deduction and persuasion. And lastly, it is very unlikely that everyone will be playing on the same level of thinking. The game is very much alive, even if everyone is playing logically. Honestly, if you yourself play at this level with friends who are just there to have a good time without overthinking, it's unlikely you'll win at all. In fact, you'll probably just get flamed for constantly revealing power rolls. Still though, if you find yourself in that situation, feel free to show your game mates this video. If you've made it this far, thanks so much for your time. I'm hoping to turn this channel into an exploration of how probability can be used in everyday life and anything interesting relating to that field. It'd mean the world to me if you subscribe to join me on this journey. Hope to see you next time.